Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm gonna to show off my 720 watt portable solar panel array. Now these are 480 watt Bouge RV solar panels. I did a review on one of these previously and I liked it so much so I bought three more. And I actually have a discount code for my viewers to take 15% off these panels. So I'll have that in the video description down below. Now I currently have them wired together in series. So it's four panels connected in series and then I have it connected into my Blue Eddy AC200P. Now the main purpose of me having this portable array is so that I can work from home and have my entire office powered off solar. Okay, so this is the setup in my office. I have my solar wired coming in from outside. Now this just barely hit 100% because I was charging up this power station because I'm testing this, this is the UPEZ uh, 1000. But if it was during the week right now, Saturday, I would just plug my work laptop and three monitors into the Blue Eddy AC200P and it would stay fully charged up. But I can get a full work day out of this power station, no issues. Now, of course, another reason I have this array is so that I can have some backup power in case the power goes out. So with the 700 watts and as long as the sun's shining, I should be able to keep both my full-size fridges running indefinitely because this powers up those fridges and they pull around 400 watts while they're running. So this should be plenty of power. Now, of course, you should be able to scale up or down this portable array setup to fit your needs. Now, this is 720 watts, but you could easily go up a little bit higher using 200 watt solar panels, or you could go down to just using four to six 100 watt panels. Let me go ahead and show you how I put these together. Now, all four panels on the top are held together with this aluminum angle. You can see I have two screws on the top, and basically this aluminum angle is kind of stiffening the frame here so that it holds all the panels together. Now I also have the panels held together on the bottom using aluminum angle with screws in each panel. But the easiest way to assemble the panels is to have a large flat area. And I just did this in a room in my basement. I laid all the panels flat and I actually used these clamps to hold it together. So then I could drill out the holes and put in the nuts and bolts. So now that the solar panels are connected on the top, and on the bottom, so it's just like one giant solar panel. Let me go ahead and show you how I prop them up. Now, in order to adjust the height of the solar panel, whether it's winter or summer, I bought these aluminum brackets on Amazon. They are rated for 220 kilograms, so even with wind or snow load, I shouldn't have any issues. Now, it's nice that they come with these plastic nubs and wing nuts, so you can actually adjust the height of this kickstand. So in the summer, I'll lower these down to the proper angle, and in the winter, I can have them propped up, so I can always get the most power out of these panels. Now the aluminum panels are mounted using the included hardware. You can see I have a nut and a bolt there and down there, and they just go right through the existing holes on the solar panel frame. I then mounted the bottom aluminum bracket to this pressure treated two x four, which is then attached to the solar cart frame. So it came with all this hardware and it's really easy to attach. Now all the wiring connections on this solar panel array are waterproof because they're using MC4 connections. And because they're wired together in series, I have two leads that come off. I have a main positive here and a main negative. Let me go ahead and show you what those look like. Now this is what my main negative lead looks like. It's actually an MC4 pigtail that I bought on Amazon. And then I soldered it and heat shrinked it to 12 gauge landscape cable. So you can see my positive pigtail here a little bit better because the heat shrink is red. Like I said, this is soldered and heat shrunk. And then I have uh, this UV resistant landscape cable that runs into my basement through the bottom of my door jam. So it's about 40 feet long and uh, it works really well. Now I've been using this for three days so far and haven't had any issues powering my work computer and three monitors and all the accessories. So it's pretty awesome to be able to keep the Blue Eddy AC200P fully charged up. Now let's go ahead and take a minute to talk about the actual frame or cart that this sits on and how the wheels are attached. Now there are probably a hundred different ways to build the solar cart frame like this, but I decided to use pressure treated wood. Now there are four pieces of wood that I used. I have two four by four by eights. So there's one here cut to six feet and then there's one there cut to six feet. And then I have two two by four by eight pressure treated, which are cut in half. So this one is 41 inches long. The one right there is 41 inches long. And then I cut the final piece in half. So I have, a 41 inch piece here and a 41 inch piece here supporting those two brackets. Now it's super easy. Like I said, this is six by 41 inches. I mean, this size doesn't matter that much. You just have to put it so it's big enough that the, it doesn't wobble around. So six by 41 inches works just fine. Let me go ahead and show you how the wheels work. So these are eight inch wheels from Harbor Freight. Uh, they're like $5 a piece, so super cheap. And then I have a half inch lag screw that's about uh, seven inches long and that goes all the way through this two by four into this four by four and so that acts as like an axle 
And so the lag screw's here, screwed all the way in, and the wheel is on that lag screw. And then I added just a little piece of two by four here to strengthen this joint here. And uh, it seems to hold up pretty well for me moving it around. And each corner is this exact same setup. Now all in, I'm about $150 into this project. That includes the aluminum angle, the eight foot section that go on the top and bottom of the solar panel, the adjustable bracket system that I purchased off Amazon, and the pressure treated wood and wheels. Now one awesome perk to having a power station that can take in 700 watts of solar, whenever this fills up, you can dump the remaining power from the solar into these other battery options. So you can actually extend the life of this power station by having extra reserve power. And then when this gets low, you can basically take the power from this and dump it into here to make your appliances run even longer. Now the main purpose of this video is to show you guys that you don't have to have solar panels mounted to a roof and you also don't have to have a static ground system set up. You can create a portable system like this and you can scale the project larger or smaller to your needs and it's not that expensive. In fact, this basically took me about two hours to put together and I'm pretty happy with the outcome. I'm looking forward to be able to use this multiple areas in my yard. In the summer, I think I'll be able to put it on the north side of my yard and it'll be out of the way. And in the winter, I can kind of put it here in front of my shed. And there's just lots of options. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Let me know what you guys think about this project. And if you have any questions or comments about it, throw a comment down below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.